Hi everyone, welcome to Michelin King. Today we're going to take a look at a few products, a few new products, how to apply them, how to get the best from them. Um, for the car, what I want, since we're getting into the, the warmer um, seasons, I want a slightly warmer finish, a wetter finish to the paint, and I can now start to look at waxes that maybe have a slightly shorter longevity but a higher gloss. So something that I really like is a wax called Italia. So it's, Italia is part of our international range. Um, what we've done here is we've, it's still the 100% natural ingredients that we use, but what we've done is we've customised them slightly for the Italia. We've taken um, inspiration from Italy and used the, the ingredients. Italia is one of the, the best selling alongside Deutsch and Britannia within the range. Scotland, funnily enough, was also a very good seller as well, which was nice. Um, so there's a couple of products we need to use just to prepare the paint to start with. So first up, we have the all-in-one cleaner, which is the product called One. So it's essentially an all-in-one polish. Um, what that does is it just chemically cleans the paint, gives the paint a bit of a polish, and then you've got some filling agents in there as well, um, which is just, it's a good all round product. You would, I tend to use this over pure if I maybe want to turn the, the card around a bit quicker and I maybe don't have the time to machine polish it. Um, one is a, is a good product option for that. Next up, what we'll do is we'll apply that, remove it, and then put on diamond, the, the diamond seal. Um, it's a canuba based sealant, so quite different to the normal polymer and synthetic based sealants that we also offer. This will give, as you can see by the colour it has, the, the canuba content in there. It's an emulsion, um, but you'll still get the properties, the warmth of a canuba wax. And it's just, these are a, a great tag team for this time of year. And lastly, as you can see by the, the bottle, um, we'll be using Glace. Glace is one of my favourite products. Again, it, it gives you, it's a canuba based top-up sp spray, um, top-up wax. The nice thing about it is you are looking at all canuba based products. Now we do offer other sealants which maybe contain um, synthetic products which are good to use with other waxes or the ceramic coatings. So let's just get right into it. So what you'll see here today is some of the new products that we've brought on. So first up we've got the new pads. Um, even though you are going to be using a polish it's always a good idea just to give the um, give the pads a, a a bit of lubrication just because they will be dry um, so just set your spray up so that it's nice and fine this is the spray head that you would get with any of the spray products that we offer and obviously they're in the 500 mil so you get the bigger spray head and you also get the bigger spray head with the 1000 mil as well so that pad's nice and damp it just softens the fibres that's really all you're doing just give this a, a shake. As you can hear, it's quite liquidy, so it's very, very easy to use. And all I'll do is just zigzag it on. You'll always find the first time that you apply the polish onto the pad, you'll use a bit more. And then as it goes on, obviously the pad becomes a bit more saturated. So, straight up and down. To get access or to allow the filling agents of this to work, you have to let it cure. So there's two ways that you can use this product. If you don't want the filling agents, just polish it and remove it straight away. If you do want the filling agents, just polish it and allow it to cure for just a few minutes. Um, it's very easy to use. There we go. And what you'll find is you'll, you'll feel the paint becoming um, smoother underneath. I don't know if the camera will pick this up, 
but obviously we started off with a clean out the pocket applicator pad these are the larger ones with the pocket and as you can see the level of dirt that's on there compared to this okay so now I've let that cure what we're going to go on and use are the new um, edgeless microfibers you'll find these on the website underneath the accessories page so nice good size um, I just tend to fold these into to four one of the things is obviously when working outside um, just double check the cloths it's a, as you can see a wee bit windy today and um, so just make sure there's nothing blown into them so just this is so easy to remove literally just glides right off so that's the first step finished as you can see really easy to use really easy to remove um, and two options basically let it cure get the filling capabilities or remove it straight away and just benefit from the slight polishing and cleaning capability. So next up we'll go for Diamond Seal. Um, obviously it's a change of product so we want to change the pad. So we get a new pad and again just double check everything quick spray that's it nice thing about these these spray heads is that you can actually change the pattern that comes out so it can either be a jet or it can be a wider spray mist so onto the diamond seal with any sealants polishes anything like that you always give them a shake before you use them This comes with the dispensing cap, but as many of you know at the moment, we're on lockdown. Um, so I'm just keeping all the caps for orders rather than using them in the videos. So just put a... Obviously, depending on the size of the car um, and how quickly you can work. So my aim is really to cover this and this. There's probably a wee bit... I, I, an amount of product would probably be fine and um, there's probably a wee bit too much but again it's very easy to use there's you always see when I'm applying this type of thing just in straight lines and um, obviously all of the, the videos and the majority of the work that we do on the car is outside so working in straight lines it's less likely to to harm the paint and then you can just go up and down this just ensures if you're working in both directions that you're getting a nice even coat so slightly different with this product what you'll do is you'll now wait three to three to five minutes and um, the wind certainly helps to evaporate the product and help it cure but and obviously if it's warmer that'll make a faster um, curing time but we're talking we're talking minutes here so your three to five minutes to allow this to cure um, again new products on new cloth and again we'll go for the edgeless slightly shorter nap on these and um, so they are really good for even wax removal which i'll demonstrate in a minute and i can see that is just about cured so if i start at the top work my way over by the time we get round here the product will be cured So quite a big difference this time round 
um, you can start to feel the paint is becoming much more slick much easier to move the cloth these are all positive signs so that's that's what we're wanting and now I'm starting to see that really wet look developing as well the thing with the door handle is obviously just make sure you get underneath and around as well so that's it that's the um, the polish and the sealant stage finished so as you can see really easy to do starting to, to build up to that really wet look glossy carnauba style finish but the thing that will make the biggest difference here and it's because the natural ingredients in here so if you look at a natural wax every single ingredient in here is beneficial to the paint whereas if we look at um, kerosene or petroleum based waxes there's high content of petroleum solvent which doesn't do anything aside from carry the wax onto the paint so you you possibly you have a really high percentage of product that isn't actually active so when you see things on cosmetic products and they say active ingredients that's what they mean so if you've got a, a, a moisturizer with vitamin E then the vitamin E has a job to do whereas if you've got a moisturizer that has lots of uh, paraffin wax in it for instance that actually just seals the skin it doesn't so much feed it or anything like that it just seals and protects the skin and what it doesn't allow is for the skin to breathe now the natural oils and waxes in here will be beneficial to the paint because when we're blending waxes like these we have the brief to start out with and then we look at the, the, the essentially a book that we have all of our recipes written in and drag in and think okay well if we want a wet look here's 60, 50, 60 ingredients that will give you that wet look and if we want longevity here's another 50 or 60 again and you start to join the dots and see because not every oil is complementary to the other um, you have to use ingredients that will work together so and that's why when you use waxes like the, a, a wax like this you'll see quite a noticeable difference um, this is a really easy wax to use one of the things that you, you can do is just spray the microfiber again just to dampen it slightly um, but we'll just we'll push on with the video you don't necessarily have to do that with the QD every time it's just habit um, so if you don't have a quick detailer or something like that to hand you can just use the microfiber as is and I'll just demonstrate that now so in smaller panels like this it's easy enough just to apply the wax and let it do the work on larger panels what I tend to do so that I'm picking up new wax as I'm applying it so my thought is if I apply the wax here it might start to dry out as we get towards the end so I want to be picking up new wax all the time what that also reduces is over application so bearing in mind with the natural waxes they are really really concentrated so well, as you can see actually we've hardly used anything from that jar and there's very little on the pad I've just put a third on the pad two thirds are empty and again that's to when you're applying the wax hold the pad flat to the paint and these two thirds will pick up the excess wax the thing that's important the, the biggest change between natural waxes are the curing times so typically the longer you can leave this on the paint the better it will look 
they don't cure quickly um, due to the oils that we use and that's on purpose it's so that you essentially get a thicker layer of wax on the paint you've got the better ingredients on the paint as well and certainly with a wax like Italia it's quite a noticeable difference um, so as I said th this is fully natural even down to the, the colour that's in here the colour of the wax comes from the ingredients that we use so we're not um, on some of them we do use we, we do use colourants but we use natural colourants so it's it's not the case that we are using them um, heavy duty solvents to co cover the wax so again you can just go up and down the beauty of this as well is if you like to layer the wax so if you like to put on always recommend two layers um, but if you like to go above and beyond if you like to have maybe four layers five layers these waxes are absolutely perfect for that because the the ingredients in the wax lends itself to building the layers because this will cure hard um, and you don't have the, the the solvent or the the oils that we use in here won't remove as much as you would with the likes of maybe RPM or Allure um, that type of thing so these these really lend themselves to building up the layers obviously with more layers you get better protection you get a better aesthetic a better look as well um, and the thing that we all enjoy at the end is you get really nice beading um, so we'll go on to a new cloth so there's two choices here we've got fresh out the packet we've got the thousand gram which is this cloth here with the, the silk edge or you can again I really really like these cloths um, you can go for the edgeless the only difference between them is the the plushness of the cloth so it's what I'll show you is, is both and you can see that there's there's very little difference where this will help is it's probably a bit better to use with a wax but I'll show you both again I would typically because it's a new microfiber and it's the fibers are relatively dry just moisten them and you'll actually start to see that they stick up a bit because um, obviously when it comes out the pack they're a bit flatter so this just allows the pad, the, the microfiber to get its normal depth. Curing time for Italia is about half an hour, but obviously because this is a video, we'll just speed that up. And the way that I'm speeding that up is using the glaze so that we're taking off any uncured wax and we're just leaving the cured on. So, as you can see, that was pretty easy. Um, we'll now just use the other cloth just to demonstrate. It's really just a, pe a personal choice. What we'll do is just make sure that's nice and even. There we go. And that is your finished article. So there's a few things that you can now do if you want. You can now go back and put a second layer on. Um, I would tend to leave just about half an hour between the layers. It depends on the, the, the air temperature and also the humidity as well. Um, so if it's fairly humid, the wax doesn't really have, have anywhere to go. Um, so it'll take a slightly longer time to cure whereas if it's quite dry say if you're in Las Vegas that's absolutely perfect um, for waxes because lots of dry air lots of place for the oils to, to basically dry off as it were um, and you can apply the wax you can apply waxes much faster 
So obviously in Scotland, the humidity we, we are, um, the United Kingdom is an island, lots of water round about us and lots of inland water. So we do have our humidity is a bit higher here. Um, so you tend to find that I would allow Italia to sit for about half an hour to cure. Once it's buffed off, I would allow another about half an hour just to fully harden. Um, and then you can go into the second layer. So hopefully that's um, been of help. If you are looking for that really wet gloss, then these are the products I would recommend. You would start with the all-in-one, go on to the diamond seal, and then finish with a wax of your choice. In this case, I've opted for Italia. Visit the website, metchlingking.com. Thank you very much.